The work that we do here at Children's Hospital is to serve the patients and the families that walk through our door. And we take care of children with all different sorts of diseases. My particular specialty is taking care of children with sickle cell disease. Sickle cell disease is characterized by acute on chronic episodes of intense pain. It's the hallmark symptom of sickle cell disease is pain. I'm living with sickle cell and that's not an easy disease. Right now we're conducting a pilot research study looking at the use of virtual reality technology as an adjunctive measure for our patients when they come in with a painful episode. So when a child was here in the hospital and they're admitted with a pain episode, we approach them to see if they're interested in this. And we come to their bedside and we do a VR session with them. They give me a call and I show up with a headset and software for them and I meet them at bedside and they get to do a underwater experience where they put the goggles on. It makes them feel like they're in the ocean scuba diving. It's very gentle and safe and kids and patients get to interact with whales and dolphins and basically get to have an escape from their hospital experience. It's really an amazing experience because you're wearing this headset and you're looking around and you're looking up towards the top of the ocean or you're looking down towards the bottom and you're seeing a sunken treasure. So it's very much an interactive uh, experience for them and an immersive one both from a visual and an auditory standpoint. Hi! It's not like your typical video game. It's soothing. It takes away all negativity and whoops its butt. Universally, the kids have loved this. They, you know, they ask for it every time they come back in. They say, hey, can we have the VR guy come back? So number one, they're definitely loving it. And number two, some of the preliminary results that we are seeing do indicate that it in fact is having an impact on their experience of pain. So we're really encouraged. I've watched patients who uh, can barely sit up and say hello to me, put on the headset and feel energized and confident and able to, to move around and it, it's amazing to see that effect. I think that virtual reality technology has the potential to transform pain management, truthfully transform it in a way that allows patients another tool in their armamentarium in addition to medications. Medications come with the whole host of side effects that are unfavorable and undesirable. VR does not. It just calms you down. It just calms your body down. It's like a medicine that you don't have to swallow. So if we have this as a tool and it's effective in helping people deal with their pain or cope with their pain, that's incredible. When I put on the mask and the headset, I forget everything that I'm worrying about and just worry about getting better. Like it brings me back to my real main focus, which is trying to get me better and trying to get me back home. Here at Children's Hospital Oakland, we have a very long and rich history of serving patients who are living with sickle cell disease. But I think that one of the things I'm most excited about is potential other applications here in the hospital. And I really hope that we're able to grow this program here at Children's Hospital Oakland and become one of the national leaders in the use of VR technology within our hospital to serve our patients. Finding adjunctive pain therapies and alternative solutions to help patients is an important part of their mission. And being invited to participate in that is a uh, a really great thing. I think that virtual reality is going to help relieve pain and stress for sickle cell patients, maybe even other patients, because I've tried it and it's helping me right now. <laughs>